While they might be small in size, white flies have become a big problem for producers all around the state. It's a pest they've always been on the lookout for, but that's especially been the case over the past few years. 2016 was a really bad year, one of the worst we've ever, ever seen, and then 2017 was much worse than 2016. And we suspect it's hard to prove it, but, but undoubtedly it's related to the very mild winters. While this cold winter will help, it's still not a pest to be taken lightly this year. As once in the field, these white flies can do some serious damage as they attack the plant on two fronts. They, one, feed on the plants, pulling out the, the, the nutrients and, and sugars from the plant material itself. They also excrete honeydew onto the fruits and vegetables, which will allow sooty mold to grow. But their principal reason they're causing a problem right now here in Georgia and the southeast is because they transmit uh, plant viruses to those crops. That's why it's so critical to treat infested fields as soon as possible to limit the damage. And if not treated in a timely manner, the population can become overwhelming in a hurry. The first step with most insect problems when you get into a situation where you need to control them is insecticides. And we do have insecticides that are efficacious. Many of them you've got to use fairly early uh, in the cycle. If you let the populations build up, they're very difficult to control. White flies can go through a generation in, in about two weeks. So if you just leave them alone and do, let them do what they want to do, they build up very large populations very rapidly. Another reason this pest is such a problem for growers is because of their broad host range. They can infest just about any crop grown in the state, which means there is no off-season when trying to prevent this invasive species. It's a season long, it's a year long endeavor and that you're not going to come in and suddenly drop some insecticide treatment which will reduce the white flies to nothing. You're going to need to be out ahead of the curve. That means it's important to scout your fields and know the signs that there might be a problem. Uh, they tend to congregate on the, on the younger leaves uh, in most crops so that's what they're looking for in most cases is just monitoring for adult populations uh, and then um, later, as, as the populations build, if you get into bad situations, you'll see honeydew on the plants, which is kind of a shiny, sticky substance. As for the main advice for preventative care, Spark says to keep your fields sanitized and treat a possible infestation in a timely manner. When you're done with the crop, if you're not ma managing that crop to prevent pest buildup, get rid of the crop. And then in those crops where we do have potential for high white fly reproduction, don't allow that to occur. Don't get behind uh, a lot of the products. One of the problems we have with white flies is we don't have anything that does a great job on killing adults. Almost everything kills in mature stages. So if you let the population build up, it's very hard to catch up. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.